All right, I'm back. We're here to show you the second half of my solar array. The first half was on a previous video a few months ago, and I went onto eBay and I found out I could get 400 watts of solar panels um, for what ended up being between uh, eight, eight and 850 bucks. And what actually the kit actually comes with is these four monocrystalline solar panels. These are all 100 watt panels, and it came with that. It came with a power inverter the cable that puts the power inverter into the wall socket and then some cable ends for MC4. It didn't actually come with any cable nor did it come with any sort of clamps or any other types of uh, materials that you could use to set up these panels. So let's take a look at what I did behind the panels here for these. Now I have my panels situated in a location where they get sun around midday and late day and so you'll see even here in the morning I'm getting only partial sun on these panels. So what I did is I got some angle aluminum from uh, my local home store and I attached a, a bar piece up at the top and I found, found a pretty good angle that I produced a pretty decent amount of power with at, um, and that's how I actually put the, the legs on. I put two legs which are also angle aluminum down to the ground and I have one more crossbar right here and then I have a um, two. Now the cabling I took and I actually had to make all my own MC4 cables and buy Y connector panels. So I bought some of those on uh, off of eBay and I made my own MC4 cables and then my cable is actually, a, it's not particularly spooled very well, but it's over here. And that actually goes through my garage wall in, towards the inverter, which we'll take a look at next. So here's the other half of the unit that I received. So this is an inverter and it's currently rated for 400 watts, as you can see above. And you'll actually see that there's a little bit of sun hitting my panels right now, so it slowly goes around, the little green lights slowly go around. Now they actually go around a lot faster, and the fan turns on a lot more when we're at full power. And then you'll see this cable's plugged all the way up in here to this receptacle, and I've got a little watt meter up there to take a look at things. Now I had to run the, uh, the cabling through this, which I should remind you, I had to buy. And I got some number eight stranded cabling, and that's running outside of the panels. Now let's talk about and compare and contrast these two systems I built. Here's the original system I have out in the back deck. This is the 500 watt system. And I just got done showing you the 400 watt system. So let's take a look at some of the stats behind these. My first system was a really fast setup and it has microinverters plus a 240 to 120 converter, but it was $1,500. How I did have it set up within an hour. So that's a really great option though if you're not a particularly handy person. Uh, it was 500 watts. And for 1500 bucks total, it was about a little over $3 a watt. The little plus 40 is extra materials approximately that I spent on that system there. System two was a lot more do-it-yourself. I had to make my own cables. It took a little while to actually make the legs and decide how, to, how I wanted to design my setup system so I could put legs on it. And I'd go out and buy my own angle aluminum. So a lot more do-it-yourself. And it only has a single inverter though, so that part was a little bit easier. Uh, it was about 830 bucks on eBay. And I probably spent another $100 in materials, bringing my total somewhere around 930. I don't have the exact numbers here, but that's a 400 watt system. And that brings my total to $2.33 per watt. Now, neither of these prices is prior to the 30% tax rebate, um, that you, tax credit, I should say, that you get uh, for your federal taxes. And I also think I could still bring these down. I've seen uh, a number of different offers on the internet for less than a buck a watt solar panels. I think Alti Store had some, a local place I, I know has some. Um, so there's a bunch of different options. I figure if that between that and buying my own inverter and making my own cables next time, I could probably get the price down easily below a buck fifty a watt. So what was the best choice there? Well, I think to start off with just getting these two panels and getting everything set up and understanding how it all worked, that, that helped me. And I know it wasn't the greatest value in the world, but it was a great product and it set up very quickly and that was that got my confidence up and got me to try something a little more difficult with my DIY set. My DIY set also worked, but it took me probably close to a week to gather all materials and possibly even longer week because I had to order some Y cables on the internet and wait for those to come in. Um, either way, I'm happy with both of my products and they're both lowering my power bill significantly, which I'll go over in another video in the future. But thanks for listening. Goodbye.